is general reading, this may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Okay, Pisces. So for you, it looks like you've shut down the cycle out here, okay? With well, the world here on your side. You feel like things have ended between this person, okay? And there's been an ending between you guys, like I said, and you've shut down a cycle, okay? You closed down a cycle with this person. You've successfully completed um, your karmic cycle with this person here. This person, on the other hand, with the magician here, right? This person is pretty confident that they can waltz into your life and make shit happen anytime, all right? But with the magician here, this person is in full-blown manifestation mode. They have that willingness, that determination to make things happen and they know they can, all right? They're very confident about themselves. Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. You're feeling with the Empress here. You're feeling good, baby. You're feeling good. You're a combination of all the queens right now, all right? So I feel, Pisces, that you have this energy of you're in your element. With the Empress here, you're taking care of yourself. You got your shit together. You're that badass kind of energy, you know? And uh, you have your money in, in place. You got your life in place. You're taking care of yourself. You're working out. You're looking good. You're focused on Everything that gives you that stability, but with the Empress here, your intuition is also on point. This person here with the Temperance here, I feel this person is honestly, yes. But what I like is with the uh, Magician here, this person has, uh, they, they feel they have everything that it takes to make things happen, right? So what I feel is that this person is letting, they're just going with the flow, okay? You guys are probably on the same page or on the same wavelength, all right? This person has a lot of patience here. Something that you're doing with the Empress here, all right? You're just being patient. You know that you attract the best of things and you're very abundant here. That's kind of law of attraction-ish. And that's what they're doing with the Temperance here. They're just not trying to control the outcome, okay? They're probably very busy doing their thing. They're going with the flow, you know, and they're having a lot of patience. But they're also maintaining that balance and moderation out here. The approach that you both have is here. You're with the Ace of Wands in reverse here. You have a lot of feelings, a passion for this person, but you're not taking action towards this person, okay? You're choosing to hold back. This person, on the other hand, this person feels neglected by you. They feel unappreciated by you. They feel avoided by you. And they feel like a loser. They feel like something's just not working out between you guys, okay? But there is just defeat out here, okay? They, this is a, probably a relationship that didn't work out for according to them. It's something that just didn't work out, all right? But, so they feel like a failure. They feel there's just no chances that things will work out with this with you. That's why they're leaving it on to the universe here with the temperance here. So spirit has the universe is doing its work out here. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Why is the world here? Why is the world here? Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse here. So you feel things, you know, it's like you either you want closure, but this person is not giving you the closure, okay, because they're holding back communication. Or, because we do have the Page of Cups here. So it looks like you do want to talk to this person. Now, be very, uh, be mindful. This can definitely be the person you're dealing with. And this can be you, okay. You can resonate more with this side. Flip the sides, okay, if you feel like. But the person out here with the world and ace of souls, it looks like you're closing out a cycle. Like I said, there have been endings and there is this lack of communication between you guys. Okay, there's just no clarity, but things have just ended between you guys. With the page of cups here, you probably do want to talk to this person. You do want to communicate with this person, okay? But there is a lack of communication from your side. Or you think they're suppressing communication, okay? Okay. Tell me about the magician. Why is this person the magician here? This person is manifesting you back. Clarify the magician, please. What is this magician? Page of Swords in reverse here. Yep, they're manifesting you, but that's what they're doing. They're manifesting you and they're watching you, spying, keeping tabs on you. So do not be fooled. They may not communicate with you. They may show you that they don't care. They may show you that they don't give a shit and they're not even looking at you. They may have you blocked. What they do is, according to me, they come in, they unblock you, they watch you. And then they block you back, okay? In order for you to get an impression that they're not looking at you. They may be creating fake accounts to try and talk to you, whatever. This person is just being very sneaky, okay? But they are watching you. They are watching you. It's just that they don't feel it's the right time to say anything. Because why I say this? Because we have the magician paired with us, right? Which means they want to make things happen with you. They have a lot of faith and hope it's going to be okay. Yeah? But again, 
queen of swords here. That's the problem here, baby. That's the problem here. Look at the page of swords and the queen of swords. They see you as someone who's giving them an ultimatum. Like, or you could have just been like, you know what? Screw you. If you don't want what I want, then you can go your way. I can go my way. And you've shut them down, you know? You've, deal, you've dealt with this person very logically, Pisces. You being a water sign, I feel like you've dealt with this person very, very logically. And that's something that is scaring them. You're intimidating them. They, they're, they're very paranoid right now, you know? They feel the need to defend themselves. But they're manifesting your vibe. They are. And they probably will because we have the temperance here. All right, tell me about the Empress, please. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Whoa, nice. I love it. All right, Pisces. So the game you're playing here is with the Empress and the Lovers here. There is this soul track connection that you feel. This is your soulmate, your twin flame connection. You have a lot of love for this person. And you know that they love you too. Okay. You definitely know because you're a water sign, you have that intuition, okay? And you know that you love them, you, then you know that they love you too. But there is an important decision that this person needs to make probably. You've reached the Eight of Pentacles with this person, okay? So you're very close to your goal of reaching to the Ten of Pentacles. You're very close to reaching that simply security. But what's happening here is that you're fed up with investing into this person's situation, okay? You could have always been the one putting in the work. You could have always been the one making the plans, always been the one pushing this relationship Okay, ahead. And this person probably just did nothing at all. And that's why you had to cut them off, all right? You were fed up of this person. Now with the Empress here, like I said, right? You're on your own. You're independent of this person's energy. And with the lovers here, you just realize that this person has got to make a choice. It's a very hard decision, a very tough decision here that this person needs to make. But they need to make a choice. Or maybe you need to make a choice, okay? Between two people or whether you want this person back or not. But with the lovers here, I feel that there is this balance that you're finding within yourself, okay? And that's because this person's balanced too. That's why you're getting the vibe that this person loves you too. You know it. You know it that they do, okay? It's just about time when this person chooses to come towards you and stop suppressing that communication. You too want to talk. Okay, you two want to talk, but they're choosing to keep quiet. Tell me about the temperance. Why is the temperance here? <laughs> oh my god. They're going nuts, babe. They're going nuts, dude. Look at the, the magician fucking twice. Twice? They are manifesting you back. This person could be like, absolutely silent right now you wouldn't feel anything from this person you know probably there was a lot of chittering bickering you know in the past if there was no communication between you guys because this is the lovers okay which is that very twin flame connection so you could feel what they feel okay but right now you could be feeling a kind of a flow you know like where there's no hard feelings between you guys okay they're doing their thing you're doing your thing but at the same time they're manifesting you and dude they're manifesting you hard okay they want you back under any circumstances Pisces. they do they watch you time to time. They want to keep They want to keep tabs on you. They're not going to let... Their eyes are on the price for sure. But this time, their approach is not going to be impulsive. They're making a very, very balanced, moderate decision. And they know that divine timing is at work. Okay, so yeah. The universe is intervening out here. Okay, something is very fated and distinct between you guys. It's just going to take some time before this person comes in. Because they want to do it the right way is what I'm hearing this time. Look at this. The emperor. They want to take control of the situation, okay? They're definitely ready to boss up, man up, woman up, whatever, okay? But they want, they're want de they're dead serious about you. If this was someone who was lacking the commitment, they're dead serious about it, okay? If this is someone, they're very possessive about you. They want to take care of you. They want to nurture the connection, but they're using their logic, all right? They are. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse here. Tell me what the Ace of Wands in reverse. Tell me what the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Okay, so it could also be that you're in your approach, you're no more taking action towards this person here. You're probably even waiting for this person to make a decision. Maybe they've put you on hold. Or you you need to make a decision, okay? But with the Page of Pentacles here, you probably are wanting to pursue something new or you're just working towards your goals is what I'm saying. You have the basic feelings for this person, but I don't see you waiting for them, okay? I see you as not taking action towards this person, but at the same time, you're going to go towards something else, okay? Which is probably 
not another person here but definitely pursuing something more tangible like your career goals money business whatever okay you could even be starting a new project here but that's what's on your mind tell me about the six of wands in reverse why is the six of wands in reverse here Five of Cups. This person's constantly moping, crying over spilt milk because something didn't work out in the past year and their attitude towards you is quite loserish, okay? How they're showing things to happen. This is, just, they're just like, oh, I'm like the victim out here, you know, and things didn't work out. And they're like that self-confidence to move things ahead, okay? Because they could have screwed up. I feel this is someone who screwed up, okay? And now they know you're really pissed off because we do see the Queen of Swords here. And they just don't know how to approach you. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to practice the law of attraction here. And they're just trying to do it quietly. They're quietly manifesting your back. Because they have a lot of regrets here. They have this huge element of guilt is what I'm hearing. Okay. And a lot of disappointment about how things happen in the past year. And I'm hearing they feel they could have done things differently. Okay. Tell me about the hangman in reverse. Why is this the reason for the reading? Why is the hangman in reverse? See, five of cups want to keep, wants to keep coming out. So um, again, there is a lot of regret here. Okay, and I'm getting that there is someone here who's having a hard time seeing things differently. Okay, two of cups in reverse here. So yeah, you guys are in love with each other, but you're just not seeing eye to eye. There's a lack of balance here. Someone's making a more head over heart decision that's what happened there was love here but someone chose to do it the logical way and logically there was love here but someone just felt that something was not possible could be commitment could be moving forward could be taking things to a higher level of commitment or could be someone who just anything okay but i feel there was a head over heart decision that was made and someone lacked perspective someone lacked seeing things from another person's point of view which caused a lot of disappointment and regret and the other person here or within this relationship that's what the reason out here is. Someone who's just very stubborn out here, okay? They had a very one-sided perspective. They didn't see things from your point of view. Tell me about the hermit in reverse here. Why is this the neutral energy? Yep. You're not talking. You're both nasty. You both want a reconciliation with the judgment here. But with the hermit in reverse here, right? I'm getting that you're both trying to distract yourselves. There's a lot of confusion between you guys. Because there's no communication here. There's no communication here. Babe, Pisces, if you're trying to prove a point to this person here, they're not getting it, huh? They're not getting it. I'm just saying. They're not getting it. Queen of Swords and Reverse is someone who just fails to prove a point to the other person here because of their attitude, because of that negative attitude. That's you being hypercritical, all right? What's happening here, Pisces, is that this person with the Herbert in Reverse is trying to distract themselves, okay, with their day-to-day -day activity so they don't have to think about this because there's so much regret on this person's side, okay? And the Five of Cups, do they are traumatized as fuck, all right? The Five of Cups is that energy of being very, very traumatized. They don't know what to do. They're very sad, very upset, almost depression, okay? If this person chooses to stay in this energy for any longer, they could slip into depression, which is, again, lack of action. But this is their outward approach. This is how they, how their projection is outwardly, okay? Like a loser is what I'd say. They just feel they cannot do anything about this right now. And because there's no communication, there's more confusion here, okay? And someone or both of you have completely isolated yourself from each other. Not from each other that you already have, but you've isolated yourself from the world. Is what I'm getting here. All right. And there is just that uh, negativity, okay? You're being hypercritical right now. Or they are, okay? Someone's very bitter and vengeful right now. Both of you are probably, okay? And you're both choosing not to talk to each other and to stay in that, um, that grind. Instead of approaching the situation in a more logical manner. You both are not thinking about this. You know, you're more focused on yourself. This person's more focused on the law of attraction, but at the same time, they have a lot of regret here. Okay, so you're being you're the one, honestly, from both of this, at least outwardly approach, you're being more productive. All right, but this person is still in that sad energy. They need to get out of this energy with the five of cups. It's very low vibrational. You can just be there forever, you know, and miss opportunities. Okay, tell me about the ten of wands. Why is this like the outcome? Why is the ten of wands here? Why is the ten of wands here? 
Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, see? Eight of Cups. Someone's walking away. You're walking away, Pisces. Because this person's just not ready to take action. No, you're not ready to take action. Because what's happening here is that this, this entire matter is becoming a big burden to the other person. Okay, it's just very overwhelming. Okay, it's a case where usually it's so overwhelming that someone you're they're very close to completing a cycle and starting a new cycle. But either with the ace of wands in reverse here, someone is like, you know what, fuck it, it's not happening, and there's someone walking away. Because the other person's just not taking action. You know? Someone's just bored. And while waiting, that waiting energy is getting so boring with the Ten of Wands, it's just overwhelming, okay? It's creating more of a burden now. It's creating more of that um, stress, you know, rather than uh, things getting better. Things are getting more stressful for you. And because of that, probably someone's choosing to walk away. Because there's a lack of action here. Someone's just bored with the situation. Could be you, Pisces. I feel you're just bored with the situation. You're just waiting for this person. Because they're manifesting. They are. But probably they expect you to take that action towards them. Whatever. Someone's walking away for sure, okay? Because there is no movement here. There's that lack of momentum here. Lack of action here. It's like, I want it. But when it comes to action, I'm not, okay? And it's just like, you know what? I'm done. This is too much. This is getting too much. I cannot bear uh, the load and... They're ready to leave. But anyways, both of you all are at the ending of the cycle of no communication. Okay, You are. So maybe not this week here, but probably say Feb. I do see something good happening for you guys. Okay, You're getting into that new cycle again. You are. You are. Just You'll just have to give wait for some time. And you keep doing what you're doing. They can keep doing what they're doing. My only issue is here with the five of cups here. Okay? That this is someone who's constantly regretting. Okay, They're literally like going through that trauma they cannot take what happened in the past that breakup separation was too much for them pisces maybe you've healed from it that's why you're very you're in a better energy from the, than this person out here okay but they're still doing that kiddish you know spine you know a little bit of talking trying to get your attention whatever but when it comes to taking action not up so that's what's happening here. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.